And today, boys and girls, we have some very exciting news. And we know here at Church Elementary School that you guys are the hardest working students ever in any school across the United States. You guys are rock. And before we share some really good news with you today, I would first like to introduce our very distinguished director of school, Mr. Steve Starnes. Congratulations, Church Elementary School. You all rock. You really do. We can do this all day. That's pretty nice. I want to congratulate the students for your exceptional effort, the dedicated staff for the hard work you do each and every day to make sure that all children and it brings her full attention. I'm here because we are honoring you for something that's actually incredibly significant. And I want to make sure you understand how significant it is. Uh, we took an opportunity to look at over 1,200 Title I schools to make a decision about two award winners. Now I'm going to tell you what you have earned that is, is putting you at the top, not only in Tennessee, but nationally in terms of how you are closing the gap here in student achievement at Churchill Elementary. Uh, we used at the State Department performance and progress data to make decisions about winners out of 1,200 schools. The department identified eight eligible schools for this award. All of the schools had to have either closed the gap in all measurable subgroups or were a reward school based on academic performance for the last two years. There were five things that stood out. Okay, number one, the first hand up, first finger. Very good. Number one, you have great leadership. Um, it is obvious that the school believes in its students and that teachers know that you can accomplish great things. They set the bar high, and you meet their expectations. So number two, put up your second finger. Our consultants found out that you have great teachers. Look around at your teachers. When they saw your teachers in action, they learned several things. They saw teachers meeting to break down standards, share best practices with each other, and align curriculum to those standards. They saw a commitment to strong instruction for all students as evidenced by your reading block and Panther Power Hour, which I've learned this. 